It's your boy Kevin Trichard coming in with another video. Guys, we about to watch Catch Me Outside Girl. She became an, she becoming a rapper. She got signed to we about to watch in this video, a record company. How the fuck did anybody can become a rapper now? I mean, I guess once you get popularity, anybody be a, can be a rapper. Shit. I wonder if anybody will even listen to her music. Because if she actually become a rapper, man, this rap shit finna be crazy. Why? Like, she haven't, like, she haven't earned nothing really to become a rapper. And we probably know that somebody behind the background gonna be writing her shit for her. So, I mean, I don't know. It's crazy, but we about to watch what it's about to say on DJ Academics. Uh, his link gonna be down below. And let's get, let's go. Check it up. Check it out now. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram or nope, Twitter, please do my voice. But y'all follow but please him. Please do. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I ain't gonna lie, man. I be on there spitting facts. <laughs> now, I said a couple days ago that whether you want to admit it or not, most of these Instagram comedians slash pranksters or anybody who has some That's viral fame are getting signed by rap. What the fuck? Now, like, I'm they not just saying mess it. They like water in the rap. I'm saying now. it because I've heard all of them being signed. Now, a lot of them you don't know. Because they're not going to announce it when they don't got a record. But as soon as they conveniently get a hit, you will certainly hear That's about crazy. it. That's crazy. Now, I've heard that this person, uh, the Cash Me Outside girl, she's been signed for the last four months, but we're only hearing about it now. Wow, she's been signed she just for four months had a record now. called These Hoes or something like what? that. They be on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. Now we're hearing that she's signed to Atlantic. Okay. All right. Now, let me tell you how this man, and I wish I could say more, but... Trust me, wow. Atlantic is signing up all these motherfuckers. All these motherfuckers getting signed by Atlantic, all right? If you are a prankster, you goddamn have like a million followers. If you could get a bunch of people to click on your shit, you will get signed. Damn. Now, what I did continue Anybody to say get a rap band now these the next days. step is these record labels approaching these YouTube stars. You have the likes of Rice Gum, Jake Paul. I mean, of course, KSI, he's already a rapper. Yeah, he has his rap season. There's a lot of YouTubers who are doing music, and you might say, ah, it's only diss tracks, but these record labels are desperate. This is their motto, okay? They don't want to spend on promo. They don't want to spend on cultivating an artist. They, already got they just want somebody extremely popular that when they put Easy out whatever, money. albeit garbage or it's lit, they could just monetize it, and it could go gold. Okay, basically, Cash Me Outside Girl, she dropped a video for her song and made the Billboard charts without much promo. You don't got to promo it because That's she get crazy. a lot of people tuning into her just for the fuckery. Now, yeah, right? I'm saying this, and you'll find out more about this later. Atlantic Records, like most of these other record labels, they're looking at their existing roster, at the niggas who on their roster flopping, and they're looking like, if we could get one of these social media stars yeah, who are already crazy. making music and just sign them, why am I putting a lot of money behind these niggas on my roster who need money for promo and they're flopping? I'm telling you, a lot of niggas are getting dropped. I ain't gonna name the names, but y'all will find out later. But yeah, this is a new everything. wave, and you might <laughs> say it's a low point of rap, but let's not ever, ever, ever look at the record labels as any type of like pendulum of morality in hip hop or pendulum of integrity. They're all about the money. Yep. And they've found a yep. quick get rich scheme by signing it's these all motherfuckers about the who got a following and they don't give a fuck about talent. Okay? Messing Nowadays, the rap game. popularity is better than talent when you're only in it for the quick buck. Most of these people being signed, they probably won't be around for two to three years, but the label don't care. As long as they could get a year and a half out of you, they're good. Okay, now there's some of them, they look like, yo, maybe we could turn this person into a longevity act, right, like a Cardi B. But for the most part, the Cash Me Outside thing and the rest of these comedians and prank shows, and by the way, I fuck with all of them. I support I them too. getting that back. No, but... Okay, but the labels are only just trying to monetize off the attention they're getting. It ain't about music no more, people. Music is the last thing, the last thing that these record labels care about. They just care about the hype, the attention, and monetizing whatever fame you got. Get in the comments, make sure you like them, subscribe. My voice is still a little bit out there, but I appreciate hey, y'all. If y'all did congratulate him on his one million, please do. I unveiled my a million yeah. subscriber plaque. Thank you, YouTube. I got the gold plaque, and it's all because you hitting that one million. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Salute to my chat niggas. I got a plaque for y'all too. Come on. <laughs>
All right, guys. Man, that was it. All I was saying that how did how did Catch Me Outside girl get a fucking rapper deal? And I know she was in that Kodak um song, and it that went very viral. But she she haven't like came up with it that was hers. And I guess she had that one sequel. Never heard of it. Um, see, like if she if she become famous, man, and like uh three four months from now she becomes super famous and everybody talking about her, like Cardi B. Man, it's gonna be crazy, man. Cause she she very young too. She got so many years ago, so they can do whatever they want to with that girl. And um, they, but they it's destroying the rap game at the same time because it was so much different than how it is now. But I mean, at the end of the day, they're just trying to make money. So fuck it, guys. Please, what you put right? To, uh, they put what you think at the down below in the comment below for nigga fucking up. Um. And show what you think about this, because you th if you think it's right or wrong, please like, subscribe, and deuce. I don't really care if you cry. I don't really should have never lied. Should have saw the way she looked me in my eyes.
video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, then hit that subscribe button because I upload a new scary video every Thursday. Number 1. Hell on Earth According to the YouTuber that uploaded this video, what you are watching is the last moments of a scared man's life. The video begins in a hurry with a man on the verge of having a panic attack in his room. 